All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Theory. Today we have a couple of things on the list we're going to talk about, one being the most important, the Chinese rover that spotted a structure on the dark side of the moon. Um, now, this stuff's pretty shocking. Uh, you see in the pictures and stuff, the landscape of it, it just doesn't match the moon's landscape. The moon is filled with craters and such, which if you're in a crater, you would supposedly see, you know, hills and rocks from inside the crater. But from the surface level pictures, this thing does not look like it fits in. It looks pretty big. It's almost two pillars with a bridge connected across the top. Um, bunch of speculation going on on what it might be. I have a clip for you guys with all the information I'm going to show you in just a second. But first, we have to talk about the last video I published. The Portland, Oregon Ring of Lights possible UFO sighting. Now, this turns out it was not a UFO. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to put a thumbnail cover on the cover of that video that says debunked. So super interesting video. I said in the video that I thought I knew for a fact this was not a reflection. And when I, I watch the video over and over again, I'm watching to see if these lights move with how the phone moves. Um, because my number one thought was that it could have been a reflection inside of the truck of like a ring light in the truck or, or something of that nature. But it turns out this is actually a historic observatory called the Vista House Observatory. And when you're driving on the highway below it, it sits up top on a mountaintop. When you drive past it at nighttime, it has a large ring of lights in the pavilion outside of the observatory. And I had no idea about that. And, and luckily, I posted in one of these local Oregon groups and somebody said, I think that's the Vista House Observatory. And I, I'm familiar with the D. Wright Observatory but I was not aware of the Vista House Observatory, and after checking the GPS on the map, uh, locating where the Vista House Observatory is, it turns out, not a UFO. As strange as it looks, as cool and as authentic as the video looked, it technically was authentic. It wasn't CGI. It wasn't uh, a trick or anything like that. Turns out it was the Vista House Observatory. So uh, as you guys can see, this is the picture of it. This is the picture of the lights. Not a UFO. So that one has been debunked. I have no problem saying a UFO is fake if it's not a UFO. Um, if you guys have any information on any of the clips I post um, that make them inauthentic or debunked or figured out what they actually are, I love talking about that stuff. So it's interesting what something can look like in a camera when it's nighttime or you, you can't see the surroundings. But this was a good one. It got me. It tricked me, guys. So, uh, so that one, not a UFO. 100% safe. But uh, as always, today's video is brought to you guys by CreepyTKT.com and the Graveyard Goons. There'll be some information about them in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comments. Make sure you guys go check them out. But for now, let's go ahead and check out this clip about the structure on the dark side of the moon. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is pretty weird stuff. Um, it doesn't match the landscape. It doesn't seem like anything that should be there. Um, it's all speculation of what it could actually be, uh, whether it's a structure, uh, an incidental rock formation, I guess you would say, where two rocks landed straight up and one landed on top of it. I don't know. But uh, but I guess we'll find out. So we're going to have to be watching the Chinese news here lately to, uh, to see what they have going on. They said it's going to take two to three months to get to this object and actually see what it is, but who knows, you know, maybe it could be Elon Musk vacation home, could be anything, so uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this, as always, like and subscribe to the channel, I appreciate you guys tuning in, uh, more UFO clips, and hopefully some cool interviews coming soon, I've reached out to a couple of people, but uh, nothing set in stone yet, uh, but we'll, we'll let you guys know what it turns out, so appreciate you guys tuning in.